Today on Toy Shiz, Batman heads into his terrible twos. Let's talk toys. Welcome back everyone, Toy Shiz here, and I am back yet again to give you guys another fresh look, courtesy of my friends over at McFarland Toys. And today, we are totally checking out the upcoming Target-exclusive Batman Year 2 Basically a box set. It's only one figure, but there's a lot in this box set. Batman Year 2 on the sides, of course, based on the art of Todd McFarlane, who was an inker and a penciler on Batman Year 2. Way back when, this is part of the McFarlane Gold Label Collection, and you can see old Batman caped up, <laughs> tied up in the packaging. And on the back, you get a really nice photo of the figure with a nice backdrop of the moon and the whole graveyard setup and it looks good it really goes yeah okay you're going to be getting this nice looking figure here's the barcode as well if you want to screen grab that so if you're not familiar with batman year two it's basically the sequel to batman year one and his dealings with the reaper technically gotham city's first vigilante and comes back and beats the holy heck out of Batman, and then Batman has to kind of decide, do I want to use a firearm, weapons, do I go that route, do I become a criminal, and he quickly learns his lesson. It's an interesting comic, if you've never read it, it's, it's alright. <laughs> the artwork is very cool, I'll tell you that. So, this is going to be fun, sit back, relax, grab yourself a nice hot cup of coffee, this is a look at the brand new McFarlane Toys Target exclusive Batman Year 2. And I will tell you this, when you're taking all the pieces and everything out, be sure to get all of them. They're all kind of situated against the box and the folds and everything else. So when you got it all together, yeah, you get one large, basically build a Batman set with a cloth cape and then a really huge plastic cape. And there's a ton in this box, like this nice art card, right? It's the Batman Year 2 from the back of the box. You get the really nice plastic sturdy cape you get all the parts and pieces to build a batman and there really is a lot to it it's a lot simpler than it looks but we'll take a look at the art card right here again same artwork as the box and you can screen grab this if you want to kind of read up on year two now you get some gravestones really nicely done actually this is the kind of stuff that i love to see it's sort of a a build a base kind of deal where you can leave it off, put it on, but it just kind of hooks in there. But it's got really nice paint, nice weathering to it. And the base is quite lovely. This is an amazing base. I love the look of this. It says Barbara Gordon and Tim Drake, all the broken headstones to it. It's got this cobble, like really broken up brick cobble sort of streets. And then you have more gravestones. You got Thomas and Martha Wayne, Jason Todd, which very cool detail and on the back you got selena kyle and various angels and things it is very light there's not much to it in the weight but it does the trick and it does exactly what you need it to and yes you just simply take the headstones right there and you can fit it in now it will snap into place i will tell you that so you just kind of get it in there you push down if you look at it towards the bottom you can see yes it clips in just like that now I thought, okay, once it's in, it's in. Now, actually, if you just kind of push it back, just to, like, go easy on it, it'll come right out again. But for when you push it in, yeah, it's pretty sturdy in there. So I definitely dig that. You get these two pieces, and when I saw them, it took me a second, right? If you're watching this video and you have it in hand, yeah, that's what I'm just saying. There's these little notches right here on this little blue piece right here. There's notches within the cape. That you're going to hook that onto and then this will slip into that and this will slip onto the base and that's really what keeps the cape sturdy when you have it on the figure so you got the big old cape the big spawn cape the big batman cape of course and you can see inside that's where it's all going to hook in and snap together and, and we'll go over that in just a second but it's got some really nice paint on it it gives it some depth the cape itself it's Beautifully sculpted. I absolutely love the way this looks. It's a McFarlane cape. It's a Spawn cape. And you're going to fit Batman right in there just as a torso. This will all make sense by the end of this video, I assure you. But it's really well done and I love the shoulders and everything. Just the way the black mixes with the blue gives it a nice shading and everything else. And the cape is very rigid. It's not going anywhere. It's a solid piece basically all hooked together. So take your piece right here and you're going to find that little notch 
in there and go slow. I'm just, it's going to take you a while to kind of figure this out. So don't get too frustrated as I kind of did. It'll eventually go in there. It hooks in there. Then the other little pieces will snap along the side of the cape. As you can see, if I can kind of move this in there so you get a better look. Please uh, go with me on this one as well. This took a while. But yeah, you slip this piece into there. That goes in easy peasy, as you can see. So now you have the cape. And we'll come back to that because we're going to look at the really awesome cloth cape. And this is a cloth cape that's a very McFarlane artwork cape as well. And there's these two little notches right here. And that's going to go at the top of the Batman cowl on his back. And then, of course, you have Batman's arms. And those will hook in and come out depending on if you want to display him with the plastic cape or the more cloth cape. And he's got some grippy hands Thank God he also comes with a fisted hand. That's nice. And then you got like a Batarang holding hand right there. And unfortunately, the Batarang is it's just too large. It's kind of goofy, to be honest with you. The Batman head itself. I absolutely love the sculpt of that. I love the ears on this Batman. I like that they put the black around the eyes. That's a good looking Batman head right there. I absolutely love that. And of course, you have the Batman body itself. And it's awesome. This is a great proportionately sound Batman body but unfortunately with the boots now this is the thing that everybody was talking about when the figure was unveiled he doesn't have the tipped boots that's a big oversight it's McFarlane's artwork and everything else so yeah he's just got the regular type boots unfortunately it would have been nice if they did the correct ones because I think out of everything that's really the only big hiccup that this figure has but you take his arms and you simply just collect to build him basically pop his arms in and once you got them all situated yeah they sit in there nicely they don't fall out they don't pop out unless you want them to come out and in that sense yeah you're not going to break anything they look good the cape simply just drapes around him push those two little pegs into his back make sure it's all situated in there and it looks great get the head pop that on there as well bingo bango you got yourself a really killer looking year two Batman. This guy is fantastic. I'm a big sucker for cloth capes. That's a nice looking cloth cape. And it is large. It's oversized. But I do like it because you can do the whole brooding thing. Especially moving his head around. He's got some great articulation in the neck. It's all one piece. But you do get a nice amount of rotation. If you go too far back... The head will pop off, but it's designed to pop off so that you can swap between the cloth cape and the plastic cape. So it all kind of works with you, and it's very impressive, I will say that. You have some butterfly joints. The arms will go all the way up. You can drape the cape, which that's why I think I love cloth capes, especially for Batman. You can do all the Batman things, like have his arms outstretched, and he's doing the superstitious cowardly lot on a criminal kind of deal. So very cool to see that, but... He's got some double jointed elbows. The pins are a different color. They went the whole Marvel Legends Spider-Man route, unfortunately, there. His wrists will rock. He will spin at the waist and the torso. He doesn't have much of an ab crunch, but he will go back more than a lot more than he'll go forward. And then, of course, on the legs, yeah, you can get him to do the splits. You can have him kicking out. He's got the correct colored shorts. Which I absolutely love. This is a very good looking Batman. He's got double jointed knees. He does have some ankle rock to him. And he's got toe articulation. You will need a stand with this guy. Also because the cape gets really heavy. There's no articulation at the boot cuff or anything else like that. If you want to go ahead and swap out the hands. Easy peasy. They just pull on and off. Just like the usual McFarlane toys figure these days. And the fisted hand. If only he would have come with two fists. That would have just been killer because that's Batman right there. And you can go and punch some criminals. Now, the Batarang is too big. It's comical. And it does not fit really good in his hand. It's just too oversized, unfortunately. I would love just a bevy of Bat Gadgets one of these days if you want to do an accessory pack. But yeah, once you kind of get to know this figure, you start moving the cape around. Man, oh man, does he display really cool. So now you're saying, okay, now I want to do the whole artwork look for this Batman. You've shown off the cool cloth cape enough. You pop the head off. And then, guess what? You take the cape off. It's really simple as that. Then you're going to want to take the arms off. And I always say, just go easy on them. Just a little bit of pressure pulls them right out. 
So then you're gonna wanna grab the big old oversized cape right there and you can see, yeah, you can slot Batman in just like that so he goes in all easy peasy and you can situate the legs after, I will say that. Once you kinda get them situated, you can uh, arrange the legs and get them looking good in a position. So he just kinda simply just pops right in there and then you grab the old Batman head. <laughs> it's, it's a little bit harder when you're doing it your first time. Once you kind of get the hang of it, it's actually pretty simple. So arrange the feet, grab your base, and then you're gonna to wanna to put this peg right in that post right there. And yeah, yeah, you got a really nice looking Batman year two. It does exactly what the box said. It does exactly what you would hope it does. And he stands pretty dang secure on it. And it's nice because there are pegs on the actual base if you wanna go ahead and situate him in that but he's pretty dang sturdy, I'll tell you that. It's really just so cool to say that it works and it does all the things that you were hoping it was going to do. And you can rock his head, you can move it, get him more brooding, turn him off to the side, you can move his legs. Like you're gonna kinda see his legs, you're gonna kinda see that post that keeps the base to the cape in there when you're kinda moving around, I mean, situated on the shelf. No, largely you're just gonna go, oh cool, that's a really nice looking Batman year two you got there. But in either sense, yes, it does situate and hold nicely. And he's pretty dang sturdy. I mean, you can hold him by the actual figure. The base will stay on. He's pretty solid. And I swear I've seen a cape like this before, right? Well, of course, Batman did it first. But now you can have Batman and Spawn. Because largely, like the Kickstarter Spawn, if you have that, that's what the Batman cape feels like, looks like. So it's really cool to have a Spawn cape on this Batman in so many ways. And of course, if you wanted to go this route and have the cloth cape Batman out and about, and you wanna just keep the big old plastic cape situated on the base, yeah, it'll stay nice and sturdy right there. And you can have both going on at the same time. And if you were wondering if you had the Mattel Reaper figure, he's a little bit too small, unfortunately. But just in terms of height and everything else, I mean, if you have him on the base, you can kind of fudge it a little bit. But I'll tell you this, if McFarlane Toys wants to make a year two Reaper figure, that would just be a great looking figure to go with this great looking Batman. And in one of my prior videos recently, I had said, yeah, this three Jokers Batman is pretty great. It's my favorite Batman. Well, now this year two Batman is my favorite Batman, just because he's got so much more going on. He's got the cloth cape. He's got that really cool 70s, 80s blue. I just really gravitate towards that but i like the black and the gray too so really these are the two best batman that i can say right now that mcfarland toys is doing besides white knight and the more battle damaged batman with the purple cape to kind of pair him up super friends style right yeah he's a little bit too tall i think for superman i know some people think that you know batman's a little bit taller than superman i think in my head, Superman's just a smidge taller than Batman, of course, minus the ears. But yeah, this is a bigger Batman than this Superman. And just to kind of show you what's come before, last year, right? The Batman 1000 Blue. Now, you can see the total difference right here. The, the symbol, everything's out of whack on the Batman 1000. However, for those wondering, oh, maybe I can swap the legs. This Batman 1000 has that weird pattern on the side of his legs, but he does have the correct boots, but then the coloring is off compared to the year two Batman. It's more lighter blue on year two, but I'm sure a lot of customizers can figure it out. They can even pop this cape off and maybe make it work with the neck. Sky's the limit, right? This is actually pretty cool. If you have the new three Jokers, the clown Joker, these go together quite nicely, especially with that laughing fish that he's got right there. That just is very cool. And to compare him to a really cool Batman that I have from my collection, the NECA Toys Alien vs. Batman, this one had a beautiful cloth cape. I still love the look of this Batman, the face, everything else, but I can honestly tell you that it's on the level of this NECA Toys one with this new year two. The cloth cape really elevates it and everything else just looks very cool with it. So that's really going to wrap it up for my look at the brand new McFarlane Toys Target exclusive Batman Year 2 box set. Now I know there's been some problems lately with Target canceling pre-orders. Rest assured, I will do my best to help everybody out, post them when they go back up, and make sure those that missed out 
because of work and life and normal things that you can hopefully get one for pre-order again or better yet hopefully just find them in the stores when they start to hit this is a really great batman i think that it's a really nice set even if you didn't have any other figures it's a nice little nod to everything batman year two and again if for right now you have the mattel reaper it will go great with him battling batman on your shelf yes he's a little bit smaller but it's just it's really cool to have these two together they really went all out on this one and it's a really nice cohesive batman set sure i would have loved to have grapple hooks and all kinds of bat gadgets and the main gripe, I guess, being the, the battering that's entirely out of whack, right? And then, of course, the wrong boots. But all things aside, in that sense, you can put him on the gravesite without the big plastic cape, and he looks good just standing there, brooding, in a cemetery with all the graves of all the people in Batman's life. That's a pretty cool action figure. But, of course, I am curious to know what you guys think about this new Year 2 Batman you have to have him what do you think comment below let me know let's talk everything batman year two and thank you again to mcfarland toys for sending this out early to give you guys this advanced look and i'm gonna leave you guys with that as always drink some great coffee eat some great food but most importantly remember never fear the reaper when old batman's patrolling gotham city and when you do let me know what you found i'll talk to you guys soon adios